All right, hey, what's going on, everyone? Earthmaster here. It is uh, July 19th, 2019, 10.07 p.m. Pacific time here in California. And taking a look at the uh, Earthquake Live 3D stream here, along with a live look of the uh, Tehachapi Depot, uh, Railroad Depot, down there in Southern California. Looks like about 70 degrees and uh, some light winds out there. Also some uh, earthquake activity showing up on the Ridgecrest area and also uh, Mammoth, Lake, Mammoth Lakes, California down here uh, on this station here, or up here on this station I should say. Um, taking a look at the global earthquake activity over here on the right side of the screen here. Um, a lot of it has calmed down. Um, we are seeing some renewed deeper earthquake activity on top of the older shallower earthquake activity that we've seen over the last day or so. So that's kind of interesting. You can see the earthquakes there stacked up on each other, kind of like a pancake. And um, some pretty good sized earthquake activity over here in this part of the world. Let me uh, take a look and see exactly where that's at. Just going to do a guesstimate, but I don't want to guesstimate wrong. Um, over there in India, it looks like they're having a pretty good uh, uh, swarm of activity. A couple fives and some fours in there as well. Uh, wouldn't doubt it if we happen to see something a little bit bigger over there also some fives or at least a 5.3 and a couple fours over here in this part of the world near uh, Greece over there around the Mediterranean Sea region um, so yeah earthquake activity continuing in some kind of odd spots over there it's not I guess it's not 100% completely unusual to see uh, earthquake activity over there but it is kind of on the high side far as the magnitudes go so I we'll have to keep an eye on that region over there, the rest of the Pacific Ring of Fire looks relatively quiet. Um, the red rings indicating some older earthquake activity. And uh, most of those should be dropping off the globe here pretty quick. Uh, rel relatively calm out here for the most part along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Of course, the latest earthquake being this 4.4. Um, just off the coast of Japan, it looks like. And um, west coast, still showing some earthquake activity. We can jump over here to the earthquake map here in um, California. Well, at least the most recent one up here. Let's go ahead and get that all set up here. Kind of small there, so we'll blow this up just a little bit here. This is the most recent earthquake activity in the state of California and Nevada. You can see, uh, well, relatively quiet except for the cluster of storm or storms, cluster of quakes down there in the ridge crest area. Also a little bit, little bit of earthquake activity down uh, further south of there as well. We'll take a look at that here in just a tad bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in here towards the uh, ridge crest area and uh, take a look at that activity. Um, which somewhat, I guess it, I guess we could say it somewhat has slowed down a little bit. Um, 4,862 earthquakes on this map. A lot of blue in there, quite a few red still, indicating last hour earthquakes. Um, no really new movement. I mean, it really hasn't progressed anywhere or migrated out of the area that we've been seeing earthquake activity. Um, so that's kind of good news. Um, uh, but there's definitely been some earthquake activity south of this region. Not 100% sure if it's associated with uh, what's going on here in the Ridgecrest area, but uh, oops, get this thing going over here. Here's a, a little bit different map view of it. Uh, this is actually one day, all magnitudes here around the Ridgecrest area. Uh, 564 earthquakes around there in that region. Did want to swing down here to the south a little bit and show you guys some activity occurring a little bit further south, if I can get this thing going. Um, okay, hold on just a second here. Okay, so a little bit of earthquake activity. Let's zoom in just a little bit closer. Down here, uh, kind of trying to figure out where exactly this activity is at. I mean, it's just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere um, and there's really no towns out here you guys can see that little 
sequence of uh, quakes out there. Let me uh, hold on one second here. Uh, I need to shrink this down just a tad bit. Got it overblown here, just a little bit too much here. Um, that's still too big. But uh, anyway, uh, earthquake activity right there is kind of out there in the mountainous regions. Really not next to any fault systems out there. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit closer here. Keep saying that, and it's just no fault systems out there. And it's a pretty good cluster of quakes. Uh, at least it looks like maybe about 10 on here. Uh, the largest being a 3.6, which is not too bad. I mean, it's minor earthquake followed up by a, quite a few ones uh, but I am not seeing any type of fault sy systems out here at all no named faults at all anywhere around um, of course it would be um, kind of like a red line if there was a fault system out here I guess we can take a look at the overview from the satellite and see exactly what this region might look like I mean I have a pretty good guess that it's going to be mountainous areas or at least mountainous type uh, Terrain. Um, okay, one second here. Let's see if I can get this thing to work a little bit. It's kind of acting a little weird. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, let's go down to satellite view. That way we can get a view of where we're at here, at least in the mountains. And I am not seeing any, not seeing anything really out of the ordinary. Just some ridges out there. No pumping operations. No, uh, no weird uh, type of system out there at all. I mean, it's just just mountains. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. The depth of these earthquakes range, uh, at least on the 3.6. Ten kilometers or so, looks like. That's it here. Yeah, about ten kilometers, ten point eight kilometers down there below the surface. So, activity occurring in Southern California, but some weird places right now. So, there you guys can see that there on the map there. I guess they are setting this at 14 kilometers southeast of Anza, California. Never really heard of that area. And once again, not really associated with any type of fault systems out there, at least as far as I can tell for uh, quite a while, quite a ways. Um, I will keep an eye on this region here just in case anything else uh, pops up or if it happens to uh, progress into something a little bit bigger. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, same old earthquake activity occurring, folks. I mean, it's uh, I guess it's expected following that 7.1. We haven't really seen, uh, like I mentioned, too much migration, too much movement along with these quakes right now. No uh, out of placement. You know, it's pretty much following the uh, specific areas that has been following there for the past few days as far as earthquake and aftershock activity goes. take a look at the globe here real quick and see if there's any other spots that might be of interest out there. A little 2.9 out there in the, looks like western Texas, southwestern Texas out there. Uh, earthquake activity, folks, just looking at it in general is relatively quiet. Uh, could be the calm before the storm. Um, you know, looking at, at least looking at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity, most of the activity looks as though it's on this side of the globe which is rather odd and you know, see a lot of uh, activity over here near Greece and also near India um, just pretty strange but of course it goes through these little cycles where we uh, see quiet spells and then all of a sudden we get a, uh, a pretty good uh, pretty good quake come in so we'll have to keep an eye on it uh, you know 
not a whole lot here to report folks this hot weather is still here in california um we are keeping an eye out there in hurricane season or at least out there in the gulf of mexico for any potential development right now looks uh I haven't really looked at it too much, but we are keeping an eye on it, um, waiting for uh, some development here over the next few weeks. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, there's, I was looking at this webcam up here in the Tehachapi region, and there's some uh, some interesting characters walking by there at night, especially at 10.30 at night. Well, it is Friday night, so I'm not for sure exactly what's around this region here. Maybe there's some restaurants or maybe a motel. I don't know, but there's, you see some strange people walking by, and there was this one guy just happened to be standing around, staring at people, and looking at the camera, and just a little odd. I don't know. There, there goes somebody right now, looks like he's got a cigarette, or I don't know what, what they're doing, a couple kids maybe, hanging out, so. Either way, uh, nightfall out here in California, it looks like a train coming way down there, you can see the lights, so. I'm going to jump off here uh, and end this update video before it gets here. In the meantime, folks, uh, like I say, we'll keep an eye on the earthquake activity. It's relatively quiet right now, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stay that way. So, um, hope everyone out there has a good Friday night. I am going to bed, going to start some work tomorrow, and uh, pay some taxes and all that good stuff. So. Peace out. Have a good night, folks. Uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later.